In the previous video, we learned about the differences in styling between Web and React Native when it comes to some box model properties. We also understood the nuances of applying the border radius property for iOS and Android. In this video, we will go through the same process for working with shadows. Applying box shadows using CSS for the web is straightforward. We specify the horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur, spread, and color. However, in React Native, we use a group of four properties. Let's add a new key called box shadow to the styles object and specify the different shadow properties. The first property is shadow color. This determines the color of the box shadow. Let's set it to 333333. Three, 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 three. The second property, shadow offset, accepts an object containing width and height properties with numerical values. Both width and height can be positive or negative. Let's set width to 6 and height also to 6. The third property is shadow opacity. This sets the transparency of the box shadow. Its value ranges from 0 to 1, with 0 representing complete transparency and 1 representing complete opacity. Let's set shadow opacity to 0.6 for our example. The fourth property is shadow radius. This accepts a number to set the blur radius. A larger value creates a larger and lighter blur, making the shadow more prominent. Let's set it to 4. Let's also change the box width and height to 250. Next, we need to specify the box shadow in the styles array for the light blue box. When we take a look at the iOS simulator, we can see that the box shadow is applied. However, if we take a look at Android, there is no box shadow. And this is an important point to note. There are no common styles to apply shadows in both iOS and Android. To add box shadows in Android, we have to use the Elevation property, which internally utilizes the Android Elevation API. Let's add a new key to our styles object called Android Shadow, with a property Elevation set to 10, and let's apply this to the light green box. Styles dot Android Shadow. When we view the Android device, we can see the shadow on the light green box. It's also worth mentioning that shadow color is the only property that works on both iOS and Android. As an exercise, I encourage you to change the shadow color to blue and apply it to both iOS and Android. Let me know in the comment section if it works for you. Now, there are packages available that support cross-platform shadows, but that is not the topic we want to address right now. The key takeaway from this video is that shadow properties do not work in Android, and you have to rely on the elevation property. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.